thank you. As Chris said, our appearance is about who we are. I am up here tonight to talk about transformation. So this story is about an organizational change initiative that was really about all about personal change. I'm going to rewind to 2013 when we brought in a new president to Northern Kentucky University. We decided that we would develop a new strategic plan, so uh, we reformulated our vision, our mission, our values, and our strategic priorities. And that strategic plan was called Fuel the Flame. Now, as many universities across the country, NKU and the other institutions in Kentucky have been uh, uh, dealing with uh, budget cuts uh, since 2008. We had laid off people, we had eliminated positions, which left more work for those who remained, and we knew we didn't have enough resources to invest in our primary mission of student success. So we knew that we had, in order to fuel the flame within our students, we needed to fuel the flame within ourselves first. So we committed to creating a culture of well-being that engaged faculty, staff, and students to, to be, that enabled them to be their best selves and to lead engaged and meaningful lives. So the next step was how do we do this? Well, that next step involved a little bit of synchronicity. We had a fortuitous conversation that pointed us to the via character strengths. And we learned about that, we knew, we found out it was based in positive psychology, and that research showed that people who used their signature strengths were more engaged and had a better quality of life. Sounded just like what we were looking for. But the other thing that we learned was that there were only a handful of universities across the country that were using the VIA tools and survey. And so we thought, how cool would this be to be a test bed for this in the university setting in the United States and then to spread the word if that worked. So we started with a staff development day, a university-wide staff development day. We shut down the university. We brought in international and local experts uh, to engage us. And then after that, we had a training program that helped us to build strengths, to build strengths awareness, to build strengths spotting, uh, and to build strengths appreciation in others. We call this initiative NKU Strong, and it's permeating our campus. So that training, that training was a turning point for our university, and it was a turning point for me. I knew that in order to be a model to model the behavior that we wanted others to experience in our university that I needed to be all in for the sake of others. What I didn't expect at the time was how much of a change it would be for me. So you see my, my work, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I have six different areas that report to me from human resources to finance, to information technology, to facilities management, planning and institutional research. So my days are crazy. My days are back-to-back -back meetings. My days are literally hundreds of emails. My days change up. One day last week, my calendar for the day changed five times. Does any of this sound familiar? Do anyone in the room raise your hand? So after the VIA training, I started to pay more attention to the strengths I was using in these variety of settings. And it was, what I learned was it, that it wasn't in these back-to-back -back meetings where I was feeling that little jolt of happiness. Um, what I learned was that what I needed to have time to dedicate to these, my, my signature strengths. I needed to make time for that. So I made two simple changes. The first change was, I changed Happy Friday to No Meetings Friday. <laughs> Ask me how that's going. <laughs> so 
I use Fridays now to not only recover from the frenzy of the week, but I set aside alone time to prepare for those meetings that I have next week. Novel idea, right? To have time to prepare for the meetings that you're going into. But I did that, and that allowed me to use my signature strengths of judgment and perspective to look at an issue or a decision that needed to be made from all sides, to jot down good questions to ask, to do research if I needed to talk with others to make sure I had all of the information available so that I could make the greatest contribution that I could make in that meeting. Now that brought me a jolt of happiness. The other thing that I realized was I was really happy when I was designing things, whether it was a university-wide strategic planning process, whether it was a new budget model, whether it was a program for a day-long leadership retreat at the university, or whether it was part of the branding strategy for our NKU Strong initiative. It was then that I realized that I was using my strengths of creativity, appreciation of beauty and excellence, and humor. So, happy Fridays. When I said that walking in the door in the morning to my colleagues, it no longer meant there's only eight more hours to the weekend. <laughs> it literally meant Happy Fridays. The second change that I made had to do with attitude. Those big projects I was talking about, no matter how you try, it's hard to fit those in during the week. And I knew most times that I would have to work on the weekend. I resigned myself to the fact that I had to work on the weekend. And with that came a little bit of resentment. But after the BS Strengths training, I realized that when I was sitting at home at my computer typing away, that work wasn't keeping me from doing the things I would love to do. It was what I loved to do. It just happened to be related to my work. And all of you in this room, who are in education, you know how meaningful that work is. And so that resentment was replaced with a sense of well-being and a sense of purpose. So those small changes made a big difference in my life. One of the stories about uh, NKU, um, let me tell you, go back a little bit and tell you that the training that we did it is really all about the stories. We know we need to measure the impact that well-being is having, don't we, Neil? Um, but the stories are what's so powerful. One of my favorite stories was uh, about a manager in information technology. All of information technology staff went through uh, the BIA training. And this manager went up to the CIO one day, a couple weeks after the training, and said, Tim, I need to tell you something. He said, you know, let's call him Jack. You know Jack. You know how bright and intelligent and talented he is, but you also know that he has trouble focusing. So after this training, I thought about it, and I asked Jack to sit down and said, would you mind sharing with me what your signature strengths are? I said, sure. And so he did, and they talked. And he said, tell me, how you can use your signature strengths given the job that you do every day. And they talked for about 30 minutes and then they both went on about their business. A week later, one of Jack's colleagues said, what is up with Jack? <laughs> he is joking, he's happy, and he's running circles around all the rest of us. So it's those little things that make such a big difference. So before I close, I want to tell you a little secret. How many know how many character strengths there are? Somebody tell me. 24. 24. Can you guess where bravery ranks on my signature strengths? 24. <laughs> And I am a flaming introvert, so when I was asked to sit up here and tell a story, I thought, there's no way. I'll come to the party, and if, I'll get on a stage if there's dancing involved, but I am not going to be telling any stories. But the more I thought about it, 
And the more I thought about how this work is changing the work culture at NKU and is changing the lives of so many people, I knew that I needed to get up here. I knew because it had the potential to change so many more. So I'm here tonight because I wanted to share this story with you. Thank you.